and when that thing, oh, when that goes thing, red. and then it's red, it's rolling. It should this just be loose? Yeah, we, normally we would mic up the person we're interviewing, but ah, I think we've seen what happens when you try to mic up Cliff. Putting a second mic on him might think more than we could bear, but luckily this microphone here is plugged in. How's it feel, Brady? How's it feel? <laughs> good, it's good, it's good. I'm, I'm completely comfortable. So, so, so Cliff. Worth mentioning to both of these and the camera over there is, uh, Ahead of time, Brady and I said, well, let's try to make a number file video. I came unprepared to do so. I brought along a couple of toys. I don't, did this one stop working again? Um, don't move. Don't move. <laughs> this, at any rate. Um, anyway, I that's all we have time for today. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. It was great to meet you. It helps. Yeah. It helps? Who? In ancestral times, when kings corrupted captains and the church blessed both captains and kings, the court jester got laughed to do. Oh, never mind. How is it for you, Matt? This, this, this thing's heavier than I expected. I know. <laughs> I told you, that's why I um, gave it to you. Uh, usually, Brady will give me a week or two warning that, oh, I'll be in Berkeley. I'm flying in from London last time. I'm flying in from Moscow. Uh, I'm coming in. Uh, uh, do you have anything worth showing? So I'll prepare a few things that I have ideas for. And to me, preparing means, oh, something that I've been working on for the past month or two that I'm interested in. Um, having said that, um, that guy over there wrote a wonderful book on what you can do if you live in the fourth dimension. And way in the back of the room is a poor audiovisual guy who has to untain paintings every day. And, and chase mad people. And chase, and yeah. chase people around. Yeah. And and Klein bottles and 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 surfaces and manifolds that have just one side. Because it's on the no, no, I don't think it's on automatic. There you go. It's manual, but it's one of these two. It's that one. So this is okay. well, that one. This okay. is April. It's 2017, April 22nd in Washington D.C. Brady is not going to talk about knots. So that um, that is true. Um, that much is true. I am not going to be talking about knots. One of the niftiest things... Are you going to be talking about knots? I'm not sure yet. One of the, um, um, in 1880 or so, the first people, Felix Klein amongst them, started to ask questions about, well, if you have a string, so I have a... Lift, 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 lift. Oh, I'm not the shoe. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have a string, you have a... Uh, why do you have any idea so how much that shoe is worth? Uh, I don't, I'll give the shoe back. You're not going to get the lace. Um, so, at any I'll rate... Take, I'll take the shoe. We'll take, you'll take the shoe when I'm done? Uh, okay. Uh, I'll, I need the string. So... Okay, um, so, if you have a string, and you're stuck in R1 space, in other words, you're stuck on the real number line, it's going to be a straight line from over there, over there. And it may have ends, but it's only, it's going to be a straight line. You won't be able to bend it, because to bend it, you have to move off the number line into, onto the Euclidean plane. You easily have a curve, right? You can, have, you can have a string, you can have a curve on the, on the Euclidean plane. Can you have a knot? No. Why not? Because then you have wait, 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 speak into the microphone in a loud stentorian voice. Because to have the knot, you have to bring it into the third dimension. To have the knot, you have to bring it into the third dimension. In other words, if I go like this, how... Come on, Matt, you're getting there, Matt. What? Matt, you're going to be in there. <laughs> this is so strange. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. Here's the Euclidean plane, a nice floor over here. Can I... Is this... Here's a knot. Why can't I do that? Um, because, like this. This, then you have to go into the third dimension. Yeah, I have to lift it off the floor. You know, and I'm accustomed, all of us are accustomed to, you know, height, width, and depth. And in free space, it's no problem to tie a knot. Yeah? This happens to be an overhand knot. However, in mathematics, <laughs> in mathematics, in mathematics, Oh, real knots. Mathematicians feel that this is math directly on just ties a knot in glass. Instead of tying the ends to one another, he draws his glass out around it and back over here. 
making a glass trefoil knot. Get in there. That's what we oh. that's, that's the shot. Should I get, let me get it in focus. Oh, no, uh, that's, that's, that's completely not in focus. Here, Get it further here, away. Here. Oh, I get to hold it. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Here All right. I, I'm a shoe short, but at least I'm no good. Should I start? Should I pan up from the sock? I don't know. We've lost Cliff. That you'll get. Look, okay, that's what's worth it. It's the same knot that you'll get. Cliff's just doing stuff now. <laughs> How are you getting on, Europe? Yeah, it's going all right. How do you think it's going? I, get, I just have a medal for Phil really Cliff. Do, yeah. really do. Now everyone knows how hard it is. What's he doing? And if you include your body, it's part of it. You've just made a trefoil knot. Oh, let me have an authority statement. Is that so? That's right. In other words, real authorities, people who know better than me, will agree. The interesting thing about a knot isn't the knot itself. Boy Scouts, you can go home. The interesting thing is the space. <laughs> Surrounding the knot called the complement to the knot. The complement to a knot. So if you have a knot, here's a knot, and I look at the entire volume of the universe minus this knot. Francis, do I have that right? Yes. I look at the whole universe without Brady's shoelace in it. So that includes this is a lot of space. Yeah, that includes his sock. I look at the entire universe without this knot. Showed that although this knot, the complement of this knot is ordinary boring Euclidean space, that if I tie, if I tie a figure eight knot, now figure eight knots are used in climbing. They're, they're actually useful knots. If I tie a figure eight knot, the complement of a figure eight knot. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, what should I say? About what? Knots. Oh, um, um, haven't you been talking oh, about no, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 hold this for a minute. All right. um, I forgot. Um, the, so I have something useful to tell you. All right. A nifty thing, a nifty thing about doing sound in AV. I was once a roadie for uh, doing concerts and. The hard part about the erodium course is you had to wind up all these cables while the rock band went off and, and hung around with the groupies. You'd be winding up cables and people would be trying to steal your microphones and things like that. And there was always this huge tangulation of cables. And you'd be up till 3, 4 in the morning trying to untangle them. Hey, did you say you were a roadie for a rock band? I was a roadie for a sound company. Oh, okay. oh 1973? Oh. So that's a conversation for another day. Let's, uh, ask me another time. Oh, okay. uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something, Cliff, Cliff. I make a lot of videos with Cliff and I hope you all have a lot more respect for me now. <laughs> for, uh, for how hard I work and what a good job I do. <laughs> because Cliff is a force of nature. But we always get good videos out of it. But I'll tell you a secret. Cliff doesn't watch the videos. He's never watched them back. He tells me he's never seen one of his videos. He can't bear it. And I can't believe it. It's like, Cliff, you've never watched one. Obviously, he doesn't read the comments, but no one reads the comments. But he doesn't even watch the videos. And I was like, Cliff, you've never, they're really good. You should watch one. So he, no, no, he told me, he told me that if I showed some of one of the videos, he would sit and watch it for the first time. No, no, no. And you can watch him watching himself no, no, for the first time. No, no. And Cliff, no, 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 I want you to not roll around or not jump. Cringing. I don't, and you're not allowed to make a noise. You just have, and you're not allowed to shut your eyes. <laughs> Can't I'll look there. No, no, no. You have, you just have to watch the video, and, I, and it's only a section of one video. And at the end of it, you can do what you want, and you can. But I just want to see you watch one of your videos for the first time. And also, I would like people to see who haven't seen Cliff in action. This is my favourite video with Cliff. We filmed it at his house. You all know he's famed for his Klein bottles. He has a lot of Klein bottles, and they're stored under his house. And I went around one day and I said, Cliff, you're famous for your Klein bottles. Where do you keep them? Under the house. That was interesting enough, but it turns out 
he has a robot that goes and retrieves them for him as well, a homemade robot. So we're going to see Cliff show all of us under his house, and Cliff is going to watch, he's not going to make noise, he's not going to shut his eyes, yes, he will. he's just going to watch, he's just going to watch and enjoy, and then, and then I want to know what you think watching yourself in action. Alright? You going to do it? Oh, God. Embarrass me. Let's do it. A bunch of them. I want the price to be low enough that I can sell them. Turns out, making one or two isn't going to do it. Making 10 or 20 isn't going to do it. I have to have like a thousand made. Come on over. Check this out. Under my house is a is my little forklift robot to go pick Klein bottles from stock. Tilt the thing. Um, if you look carefully at it, let's see if I can actually show this. I mean, this is just homebrew. This is only incidental. This is not Klein bottles. This is how to run a warehouse, really. This is the lift mechanism for from a car window, from an old Pontiac car. So I went to a junkyard, got a window tilt. Everything's made from junk. The up-down, that's an old electric drill that I got for five, for $5. The wheels, you know, they're little motors drive the wheels around. Let's tilt this up, lift it. So here's my, here's a box of Oh, hey. And yes, there are Klein bottles in here. <laughs> and indeed, indeed, this is a, a box of throwaway Klein bottles. Things, you know, things that have flaws on them, but I don't care about that. The main thing is there are lots and lots of bottles. It's the footprint of my house. I mean, it's, let's see. Hey, go back, go back, go back. Let's drop this off. From here on out, you're going to have to look at a TV camera because you have to appreciate that there's lots of bottles and heading over to where I store bottles under my house. Let's see. There are lots and lots of baby Klein bottles in boxes under my house and lots and lots of medium-sized Klein bottles under my house. The reason for having so many bottles isn't, oh, I gotta have, you know, in case somebody orders a lot. It's so that in manufacturing a lot of them, I can keep the cost low enough that I can sell them. Turns out that small production runs are real expensive. So if I can just have one production run, save enough bottles for the next 10 years. So notice now there's a both Brady and Cliff both are being seen by the rear camera of my little forklift robot. Hang on. Behind man. you. Behind you is a cat. Okay. Hang on a sec. Sure. <laughs> no, he's Ugh. going out. Cat's gone. Don't worry about That's it. That's all right. I've got the shot now if you come around towards me. Goodbye! Yeah. Uh, I was going to have a very cool game. You did let me out eventually. Please, you watched yourself. How was that? Mortifying. Yeah. It was, is that the first time you've watched yourself? Yeah. I don't. I mean, people will send me things and mention it, but how can I say? You're just um, a shy guy. You do these things, you're performing, but I don't want to know what I did. It's like looking at all the mistakes that you've made in your past. It's, it's looking over your shoulder and saying, why did I do that? Uh, you think of a cool idea and you say, ah, oh, this will be fun to do. And then after it's done, you say, oh, what a dumb thing to do. It, it, it's those of you who are teenagers, 
will have the same feeling 10 or 15 years from now when you look back over the stupid things you did when you were 18. Um, and it'll happen again when you're 40, when you look back over the stupid things you, you did when you're 25. So, why do you do it then? Like when I call you up and say, can I come around and make a number file video with you, Cliff? What, why do you say yes? You know, that you've got a million projects on the go and things you love doing. Why is agreeing to be filmed by, by me one of the things you agree to? Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, sort of an aside, if, don't let him hear it. Really, this isn't for you, it's for people over there. Um, it's incredibly fun to play around with, with Brady because he's at once filming you, but he's also representing mathemat mathematicians to me. He's acting, for example, a month or two ago, he came by my house and had this real, real nifty, here, crack the end of this. I had this real nifty thing set up in my dining room where he had a, a chain going from here to here and I was talking about catenary curves. And I, had, I already told him, hey, you know this is a catenary, and if I hang weights on it in a certain way, it'll turn into a parabola. And I, and I was halfway through it, and Brady, behind the camera, says, wait a second, why should that be so? Why is it that hanging weights would change it from a catenary to a parabola? And I had just taken it as a, oh, everybody knows that, dot, dot, dot. And then I thought about it, and the more I thought about it, the more I realized, you know, I couldn't derive it. I couldn't prove it. Yes, yes, go ahead. How is the uh, client model business going? How is the client model business going? Oh, fine, you would never ask. <laughs> I, I, make, I make funny shaped bottles. I make client bottles. Um, unfortunately, it's had an interesting effect uh, due to uh, a surprising demand through Brady's number file videos. I am running out of bottles and my bottle maker, uh, you know, I usually sell one every day or three. Uh, suddenly there's like two, three, some, some days there's four orders and it's depleting my crawl space under my house. And this causes some curiosities like I, I'm going to the glass shop, I'm burning my fingers again. And I, I, I don't make these, understand. I have glass blowers make them for me, but I hang around lab workers who, whom I pay real money to to make them. And I'm now, look, if you know somebody who wants to make a thousand bottles, tell me. Oh, eight times four is a little bit more. It looks like 32. It's either 3.2. Or 32. I say, this is a glass Klein bottle. So I say, I'll go over to the math department in Berkeley and I'll show my friend Ken Rivet this, this Klein bottle. He's a topologist. He'll actually appreciate it. 